Welcome to Rickshaw Scale Modelling. This is part 13 of the Revel USS United States Scale 1 to 96. In this part, it's much the same as part 12. I'm going to be carrying on with the rigging. There's still quite a lot of rigging to do. So let's jump into this. So to carry on, um, I'm starting rigging up the jibs um, to the, the main hull of the ship. So using my threader to pull these um, threads or ropes through. Now I'll be using two different thicknesses here uh, and different colours. So I've got a jute colour which I'm using at the moment and uh, the black colour. Each line will have its own anchor point and um, as it goes along it can be incredibly difficult um, to fit in and um, see where you're going. Um, as you can see I'm using a combination of my hands and my tweezers just to pull the um, thread through. This this is essential um, or you'll be forever trying to do it. But I will say each part does take a phenomenal amount of time to do. This is why the videos are a bit um, slow in coming now because I'm in the most technical part of the build. Have a look at the instructions. Make sure you know where you're going to go. And um, look at your an anchor points. Um, first and foremost, foremost. See where you're going to anchor the um, rope. If it's on the actual hull, I would suggest tying it onto the hull first. This is because it can be extremely difficult um, to anchor it once you've done your leading line, um, say at the top of the jig, uh, like here. I was doing it from the top, then to the bottom. It would be extremely difficult to get the line taut and anchored at the bottom. So it's a uh, a wise way to do it. Do it at the bottom, then work your way to the top. And also, once you've secured it to the bottom, just use a little bit of glue um, to uh, make sure the knot that you, you've done is not going to slip out. As I said, it gets extremely tight. I'm using two um, tweezers here to manipulate the, the rope uh, to tie it up. It takes a bit of practice to do it this way, uh, but it's better than trying to get your hands in. I do it more often than I put my hands in, but when you're doing that, just be mindful of the um, rigging that you've already placed in. Um, I've actually already snapped a couple that I'm going to have to replace um, once it's all done. And um, for instance, on the bow, there was a couple of lines snapped and come some of sagged out, out of shape. So I'm going to have to deal with that. So once I've uh, secured it at the bottom, I select the path where the um, rigging is going to run up, generally up the mast, through the cross trees, then over to the yard arms, uh, like this. Now, um, some of these are already going to go on the pulleys that I've uh, placed in in, pr in previous parts. And to thread them through, I'm just using my threader to do so. It's always um, worth looking at as well when you, you're doing this, how much line do you need? So measure it out then, add a little bit extra for tying off and um, just pull it taut when you're ready. This lot you can't leave um, till the end to pull taut. You have to pull it taut uh, as you're going along. Now, on these um, yard arms here, it's, the instructions call for two thicknesses of um, thread here. Now it just says just tie them off, but I'm um, together. But I didn't like that, so I put a pulley in between them. Um, to me, it looks better than just a uh, one single knot floating in the middle. But also, you'll, you'll be having to put on a lot more pulleys as you go along. So um, just to recap, how I do these, I take the pulley, put my threader through the um, the, the hole at the top there, and uh, thread the cord through. It's the easiest way to do it. You can do it with a needle as well of course, um, but I find this way is just as easy. So once I pull it through, I get to about the halfway point and then I, I just tie it in a knot. And I use a tiny bit of super glue just to secure the knot. And then that's the first one ready to go on for the next lot. Uh, make sure you have two ends so that you can tie it off. As you can see, I'm just putting another knot in, just to make it completely secure. And then the pulley is ready to go on. Now the reason why I left two, two ends is uh, 
just to tie it on and I tie it s similar to how I actually put the pulley on I uh, uh, just tie a, a simple basic knot onto the mask and then secure it with a little bit of super glue and do another tie so I'm double knotting it to make it stay on now there's clever little knots and that you can do so you don't have to do all that um, but I, I don't bother, I'm not very good at knots anyway so a, a simple knot tie uh, is uh, fine really and once the pool is in situ it's time to um, add the rigging so I've already uh, anchored it to the bottom just pulling it through the um, with the threader Sorry, my hands in the way here. It's the nature of the build now. Um, more often than not, you'll get to see my hands than the actual um, rigging itself, unfortunately. So once it's on one section, uh, this particular one is going to be running down the um, yard arms. So again, I'm using my threader just to go through the pulleys and uh, to pull the through. As you can see, it's getting rather difficult. And I'm just carrying on the same process all the way down. And as you can see there, again with the, the threader, I'm using that on the little cleats that I put in it the previous, um, I think it was part two or three that I put onto the deck. And um, these are getting used now to anchor the, the rigging onto it. And again, it's just up and down through the mass uh, uh, as I go, the, the, there is quite a lot of rigging you have to do if you follow the instructions. You don't have to put all this rigging on, um, but um, if you want to go just by the instructions, then you can. But remember, there will be different variations of cord for you to use as well. So to try not to get mixed up with that, because it will look off balance if you don't put on the right thickness of cord. So it's down to the mizzen mast and um, this is the, the last of this particular part of the rigging. So all the other uh, masts have been done. And it is much the same as with all the other rigging in the past. Um, you've just got to work through it. Um, I actually enjoy this part of the build, but a lot of people don't. But it's such an essential part of the build. So I'm just prepping the rope here. I've pulled the... Um, rope through the cleat and just knotting off one end and pulling it down top then I'll secure that with a bit of glue so again running it up through the mast uh, through the cross trees uh, to the uh, point where I put in the pulleys then pulling it through the pulley and making it taut and then bringing it down to the yammer arm and uh, tying it off now I, I use again a simple knot but uh, uh, a loose knot and I just pull it taut on the mast. Be careful you don't do it too tightly because you don't want to snap the mast. Um, if you just do a simple knot and move, move the end of the line up and down it should tighten up uh, before securing it with a little bit of glue. So as you can see it's, it's repetitive all the way through. It's the same process. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, for every little uh, detail of the rigging is pretty much the same that you have to do so once you learn one bit you can do it all now to the side of the hull um, i'm having to make little holes here and um, using my pin drive and um, this is because i have run out of cleats as i said earlier on in previous builds um, but these uh, need to be done to hold uh, parts of the main rigging so i've just taken my pin drive and then i've taken my hobby knife and insert it in, twirled it around to make the hole a little bit bigger. Then I'm using these um, uh, struts here that I didn't use on the lower decks. And um, I'm just opening up the hole to the diameter and pushing them in. And then once they're in, I'll, I'll just cut a little piece off and place it in. Then once it's in, I'll let that dry, then paint it um the same colour as the hull. I think there's about um, six in total I have to do here but it's a necessary part so I'll just leave them to dry and go back to the rigging for the uh, main hull now so I'm just placing my threader in and I'm going to be placing a pulley 
on each side here. So I made up the pulley in the normal way and just going to be threading it through. And once it's threaded through, just tie it off in a simple knot. And off the main rigging, so I'm just anchoring it onto the capstans here to the side. Uh, this is a, a very tricky process, um, especially when I've got glue on my tweezers, that didn't help at all. Um, this took a little while to get the anchoring done. And once it's secure, I'm just uh, threading through the uh, main rigging um, onto this arm. So using my threader once more, put it in behind the pulley and pulling it through. I then pull up to the lower yard arm and put it through one of the pulleys that I, I placed on earlier on in the build and then pull it down to back to the arm. And to secure it, just wind it around, add a little bit of super glue as I go so it doesn't fray and come off. And that, that's it, just a little bit of super glue at the end. I uh, wait for that to dry before snipping off any excess. And for the next part of the rigging, it's uh, much the same as well. Um, slightly different this time. I'm starting off at the middle and uh, threading it through one of the pulleys. Now, the, these pulleys, as with the um, four masts as well, are two on one uh, branch of thread, um, um, purely for this uh, process. Because of this, you, you, you really have to do um, both ends first. So I'm starting off with the middle, just pulling it through. Then I take what, the one near the middle mast and do the same again, just pulling it through. Making sure that you're um, pulling them through, you're not um, encroaching on any of the rat lines. And I'm just anchoring it on the points where um, those little plastic struts I placed in because I didn't have any clays. So they're just getting uh, anchored on there for now. I'm then going to use a clamp just to keep the back one taut because you want the um, pulleys to be even. So I'm just moving the camera to get a better position. And now I take a bit of glue and put it on the um, little uh, strut, first of all. It doesn't need much. And then I take the line and um, pull it taut and just wind it around the strut. And because I'm using super glue, this will set almost instantly, so be careful, make sure it's taut before you do it. I added a little bit of super glue at the end, and then uh, once it was dry, it was just a case of snipping off or cutting off the end tail. And then it's over to the Mizuma side, and it's the exact same process again, just winding it through onto the um, strut that I placed on. I actually had to do this a second time. If you notice there, the um, I had the um, thread um, obscured by um, some of the rat lines. I just uh, pulled it through wrong. So I, I, I just took it off and uh, thread it through the proper way. But that's how easy it is to get it wrong as well. So you have to be careful. And then it was back to the main mast and um, foremast even. And uh, it's the same again on the foremast. Uh, just threading it through. I made a little loop this time because the um, strut wasn't quite as big. So I just made a little loop and fed it onto the strut and uh, pulled it taut. Then added a, my, my super glue again um, to hold it in place, wrapped it around, and then that was the main rigging done on this side. Well, I'm going to bring part 13 to a close now. Um, I did get a lot done on uh, this session, believe it or not. Um, there, there was a lot involved. Um, so I'm quite happy um, how it's going so far. I'll do the other side of the um, ship for the rigging that I'm just done there, um, off camera, because it's the exact same thing that I'll be doing. So in the meantime, why don't you look at the other videos of the build to see how it's all coming together. Or indeed, um, have a look at the... Uh, channel there may be something there that will pipe your interest subscribe to the channel as well for um, upcoming updates of this uh, build and of course of any new builds in the future hit that like button and um, leave me a comment if you wish but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye